one of the nice things about jQuery is that, like um, all other programming, it encourages laziness, and a lot of people have produced some interesting tools that we can use. One of those might be JRumble, um, with the caveat that it has, which is um, you need to be careful about rumbling things on the on the page. But um, JRumble is is an example of a of a jQuery plugin. It's something that someone has built that you can layer on top of jQuery, and there's literally thousands and thousands of these kinds of plugins out there that allow you to do certain effects on your page. Um, so let's talk about, let's, and, and they follow basically the same pattern. So once you can do it with this, you can do it with many of the other ones out there. Um, and they make it very easy to do that. So um, the first thing we have to do is download this, and I've already downloaded it. And um, it downloads as a zip, and then I put the zip into my, um, into my JS folder here. So we have a, a new script in my JS file folder called uh, jrumble.1.1.js. So we need to um, load that script in in addition to the other two scripts we have. So let's go ahead and um, note that we are loading two scripts so far, the jQuery script itself and then my personal script. Let's go ahead and load in one here which is um, jrumble.1.1. Why does it go there? Well, it's a little bit fussy, but the first thing you want to load in is jQuery. This is going to use some jQuery, so we have to load it in next. And my script is going to use some jrumble, so it needs to load in last. Basically, because this uses this, it comes after it. Because this uses this, it comes after it. Generally, jQuery will come first, and your script will come last, and any plugins will go here in the middle. All right, so we'll save this. Now, in, in our own script, we can make use of the jrumble function. And um, you know we need to kind of look at. Luckily, they've provided an example here, um, examples of how to do various things. Let's do it as a hover. Um, so you'll see here that there's a Rumble event hover. So we'll just copy that and bring it over to ours. And here we'll apply that to the H1. So we have um, select H1. Um, then we apply the J Rumble function to it. And the rumble event is on the hover. So let's let's actually rather than doing h1, let's do it to the image. Um, no, let's do it to h1 because the image is a background image. Okay, so I'm going to do h1, and we save that. And now when we refresh, we get it to rumble for any of the h1s. Oops, that's having some weirdness over there, but. Um, that's something we could always fix by putting it in its own div and spacing it out. So um, a simple example, we could do it to, uh, for example, we could do it to our our uh, links instead. Oops, we have to refresh it for this to work. Now when we go over the links, it rumbles them a bit for all of the links. Again, I'm not sure that I would actually do this on a page. That's not quite true, actually. I'm, I may use this on a, on a page, but it gives you a basic idea of how you can use plugins, and there's a great number of plugins out there that are really useful, including a, a huge set called uh, jQuery UI that provides you with some nice user interface elements.